Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, altcoins, and every other coin you can think of, sir. Jumping in right now on the 15 minute time frame on Bitcoin, we are coming into the dead gap zone, which means somebody's going to be hunting for liquidity. That's the market maker. He's there to take your coins. And he absolutely did take some people's coins as Bitcoin capped 64,339 and re immediately retraced to 59,000 bucks. Pretty big liquidity grab there. Um, and the rest of the altcoin market uh, got got smashed on the head there. And I would say as long as we close above $60,000 now, I mean, we're talking about the level to hold on the daily time frame was $50,000 that level did hold uh, now I mean are we were and, and we did talk about this guys like very likely 57,000 was gonna get tagged I mean could we ask for much more could we ask for much more um, I don't know but I'll just bring our attention to uh, the last time Bitcoin made it a new all-time high after coming back from a bear market right so macro bear market what is that when the uh weekly time frame is making lower highs and lower lows and so this is a macro bear market boom um oh yeah i'm gonna point out a couple things a couple of beautiful things to you guys here you guys and gals um so as we are reapproaching the twenty thousand dollar high we sold off of it two times but very similarly to back then, um, I do think, similarly to back then, um, we're going to approach the high, probably sell off, approach it again, sell off, and then push to the upside. For it to just blast straight through here, I mean, that, that, that would be, I guess, the route of the most pain, the route of the most pain. Um, so as we were approaching that $20,000 high, oh, that was the time before that. Okay. Here's, here's this. I was looking at the $1,100 high. So we sold off at once and how big were those corrections Two sell off? So what I'm talking about is after we're in a macro bear market, we get a reversal and we reapproach the all time high. So just using a little statistics here, 35% correction. 35% correction. And let's see if any other indicators kind of uh, helped us get that correction. So the stochastic crossing down on both of those definitely was a sell signal. Um, and then let's look at the first one. Approach, approaching real all time high and smashed right through it on the first the first try. So and then this one right here, this is the $20,000 high. This is the one that I'm talking about right now. As we're approaching the high, we sold off of it one time. Doesn't look like much there. Doesn't look like much, but that was 11% sell off. So not bad. And you could almost call this the first sell off, right? So. We reapproached the candle body high, sold off. That was probably a 20%, 16% and 13 and 11%. So if uh, Bitcoin does correct off the high, off the first pass, um, I'd be looking, it, it does look like this is probably going to be the route. Boom. First pass, second pass. Once we clear above that, then well, it's lights out dingo and Bitcoin uh, very, very likely Heading up to our all-time, our, our, our ultimate target, our all-time target. We're looking for Bitcoin to tag somewhere around 240,000 between September and August of 2025. Can it go up straight up in a line? Yes, of course it can, because it is a fixed supply asset. It is a fixed supply asset, and you got institutions probably running in right now thinking, well, I could pay 60,000 or I could pay 75 or 200,000 over the next year and I'm gonna opportunity cost and just throw a few billion in. I heard uh, BlackRock just bought another billion dollars worth of Bitcoin yesterday. Five billion, excuse me, five billion dollars worth of good old Bitcoins. 
But if you're like me and you're a little more conservative and you want to catch the buy the dip opportunity, um, I would suggest um, looking at this area, the 618. Coming in at 48,000, anywhere between 48 and 42,000. I would consider a major buying opportunity, and this is the last line in the sand at 35,000. I don't think that, um, that, you know, don't quote me there, but um, another thing to note, another important thing to note here is this. On the monthly time frame, which is a very powerful time frame, very, very powerful. The higher the time frame, the stronger the signal, right? So what I'm gonna bring up to you here now is this good old indicator. Oh, look at that. Monthly volatility is just increasing. Guys, this is this is bull tarred. This this is going bull tarred right now. And what I'm talking about is this. Volatility is now expanding from the lowest level ever. You've got the monthly RSI getting in the bullish control zone for the first time after being away from it for a very long time. Every other time this has happened, I marked off, uh, well, I guess that's that's a little bit of an unfair assessment. But essentially every time the RSI has gotten into the bullish control zone on the monthly time frame, I mean, it was lights out, party for your lifetime. I guess that was the one fake signal there. Uh, but it's normal after being away from it for a long time to sell off on the first pass and then the second one gets it. We've been away from it for a long time, but um, maybe we retest the bullish control zone and then lift off. You know, it's not going to be straight up forever. There's going to be pullbacks along the way, but guys, We've got a clear cut and dry target for Bitcoin coming in at 240,000. And where do we get that target? It's a parabolic blow off top target. This is how you use the Fibonacci tool from the all time high to the all time low. And a 4236 is a parabolic blow off top target. A perfect example of this was Mr. Tau coin. Tau forms a W on the lows and bang, it sold off the 4236 on the first pass. So this close enough is close enough. You know, pretty deep retracement there. And that's where you take those profits. So some of the other tokens we've been talking about. Uh, another one that did this, uh, Neutron. Neutron, which by the way, any, any, any touch of this trend line, I consider a major, major, major buying opportunity. Major, major. Uh, this is probably one of the favorite projects uh, that I have out there, but what happened? Boom, four, two, three, six, should have sold off it on the first pass. And we did catch that move as well. 37% of the downside. Okay. So that leaves you with where our ultimate target on Bitcoin is. And uh, what else do I want to talk about? Um, here we go. Since we've been talking about the halving and 60 days before the halving in 2016, Bitcoin was 62% below the all time high. 60 days before the halving in 2020, Bitcoin was 81% below the all time high. And 60 days before the halving, Bitcoin is 17% below the all time high. And I would go as far as to say it's probably even less than that. Now, Bitcoin did tag 64.2 on some exchanges here. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. 
It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Shalana looks like it's picking its uh, brain back up. I guess I'll show you that injective trade from yesterday, which is now sitting $43,000 in the profit. Um, and how can you get these trades? We'll join our VIP Discord or our course, limited time offer right now, it's still free. Um, probably gonna make it free for the end of the month here. Bitcoin 101, how to stack stats using technical analysis. Join the Discord and then you can join us for these trade setups that were given yesterday. Boom, dropped in the Discord. And what did I say yesterday? As the day was closing, I said, look, you might FOMO in right here, but I want you to ladder in three additional orders down here, right? Three additional orders down here. So how does this work? Let me clean up the chart a little bit. Actually, I said cost average in on these three lines. So I said, don't buy it here, buy here and buy here and buy here. So if you had $100,000 to invest, Maybe you put 30,000 here, 30,000 here, and the other 40,000 down there, or vice versa. And your stop loss goes at the bottom of this line right here. And we were saying, look, this one's probably gonna break out after a long consolidation, after the first pass of breaking the trend line, got sucked back in, now second pass. Now we gotta decide, is this gonna be a major range or are we just gonna lift off to the heavens here in one shot, similar? to what happened to Casper. After this long consolidation, what happened on Mr. Casper? Casper, the friendly ghost. This is the ETH killer, the ETH killer Casper. Where did we end up going to? So we still haven't even hit the 1618 fib on a wick basis, but on a body basis, taking the we did hit it, we overshot it, and that's what tells me this one probably goes a little bit higher. Big indecision to candle, uh, below this, below this wick, probably gonna get a test of this trend line. Above this wick, probably gonna get a test all the way up here at uh, 22 cents, 22 bucks, 22, 22 cents, yes indeed. I'm gonna leave you with one other thing surrounding the internet webs right now. And this is Mr. Cockcoin. Yes, he's a rooster. He's the dominant male rooster in the meme coin frenzy here. And why am I bringing this one up? Well, you got the W formation, meme tokens starting to bounce. We're only at the 382. We had a nice retest of, call it the six, seven, eight, two, three, six, whatever you want to call this line, the red one. At a very minimum, I'm looking for uh, this area to get tagged. So again, you want to get the trade set up, you got to join the Discord. TP1, TP2, and um, let's say you don't have the patience to wait anymore. No more patience. You're out of patience. And by the way, Cotcoin has a huge community and just for a meme coin from the research that I've done, this is one that is likely to do well. Yes, one that is likely to do well. And so let's say you don't have the patience, right? You, you, you know, you don't have the patience to wait anymore, right? You just want to buy a meme coin. You're ready to buy some Cotcoin. Well, um, my suggestion is this. If you were gonna do this, you would be actually looking for us to test the highs for the right risk to reward. This is a, oh, three and a half to one risk to reward setup. I personally, probably moving that stop right there. And more aggressive stop is gonna be right below yes, today's low. So if you had to enter right there, but the more conservative, what I was talking about, you know, uh, adding in on this position is, let's say you've got a hundred grand. Okay, you buy 30 grand here, 30 grand here, 
and your last 30 grand, you want to get it as close to your stop loss as possible. And so I'm going to put this in the discord. You know, some member in our community yesterday messaged me and apparently there's something wrong with the chat. So if you got a question, you can actually just DM me. I will answer you. Unlike all the other people out there um, that won't answer you on Discord, right? Um, check this out. So trade. Oh, look at that. My boy, he got the coins. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, so we give away. Actually, you know what I'm going to do today? Anybody who joins the Discord, I'm going to rally you in. Anybody who joins the Discord today, a half ounce silver. Half ounce silver. Um, we'll, we'll give away five coins. Five coins today. So I bet you only five people joined today. So you probably all get a coin. Um, and if you're already a client and you're already a friend or family or something, you're already in Discord. Sorry, too late. You have to. We're going to do more giveaways. But... Um, long story short, this was the trade setup given yesterday. I said, look, cost average in on those three lines. So what am I going to do here? Same thing on Mr. Cockcoin. I do like this one. And where is it available to purchase is the question. Cockcoin, if you're going to get a meme coin, this one is actually one that I think could do well, right? Could do very, very well. Um, Mr. Cockcoin has a lot of like community um and i'm gonna be going over a few other altcoins that i got on my list but we went over that tweet we're about to blow the all-time high oh here's another one so something i've been talking about google trends still below 50. coinbase app ranking not even sniffing the top 100. the halving hasn't happened yet the etf is on deck for ethereum and the first ai bubble sama raising trillions I think he's talking to Sama. I don't know who that is. So much disbelief everywhere. Retail trading volume just starting to tick up. Big increase through end of year. Dude, make America great again. Go get yourself a Donald Trump NFT and be part of the cool crowd, okay? So, um, yeah. Now that I've got this thing ready and I got a little bit entered in on my position, I don't even know where you can get this coin. Let's see. Another good one. Great one. Write that one down. Roll bit. C-O-Q. Mr. Cock. Inu. Shiba Inu. Cock Inu. Market cap. 130 million. So pretty good. What's Pepe at? Pepe. 1.2 billion. Would you rather be a frog or a rooster? That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say, sir. But back to where we can get this highly esteemed piece of internet technology. Markets. Oh, it is available on Bybit. Very nice. BitGet. We got a link for them below and KuCoin. So if you did want to join me on this trade, buy bit if you're in Europe, bit get if you're somewhere in the US. No, I don't think they do US. KuCoin, if you're in the US, you can do buy uh, KuCoin. I don't have a referral link for them, but the other one we do have is called Mexi. Mexi, my favorite, my new favorite exchange. Uh, anyways, really easy trade setup. You want to layer in your orders. You don't want to put it all in at the top. You know, you're never going to get the, uh, you know, especially at the top of the range and your entry is likely never going to be perfect anyway, right? So make sure you have a good area for your stop loss. And I'm just going to label this TP1, TP2, TP3 all the way at the top. And then you can follow along and say, gosh, this guy is full of crap. All of his trade setups don't work. Or you can say, wow. I want to join Bitcoin advisors. I want to put Bitcoin in my retirement. I want to grow my wealth tax-free with a crypto IRA. That's our specialty. That's what we do for people. Um, and here's your TP3. 
TP3, TP3, TP3. Way up here, okay? So now that everything is all lined up, I should go trade, take the trade. Take the trade, sir. Take that trade away. Um, all right, I think I've spent enough on some of the meme coins here. I went over the injective trade, crypt courses. Guys, check out Jason Pacino. If you think the markets are crazy now, just remember that everything bubble is just warming up. This is the phase we've been preparing for since the lows of 2022 when everyone else was calling a recession. Look, um, he talks about this. It's a 16 year real estate cycle. Yes. Um, and he says, we're here. Real estate's about to go parabolic. And uh, this is the everything bubble. Stocks, bonds, real estate, you name it, all flying to the moon. And uh, yeah, I, I think this guy, this has some legitimacy. I don't fully understand it, to be honest. I'm, I'm not, I'm not about, you know, the real estate type uh, charting patterns. Um, Another note, why we got that washout here, the funding rates uh, got absolutely high. We always talk about not 0.1%. Once funding rates get not 0.1%, typically that's when you are going to see that first uh, sell-off. That first sell-off, and we did get that. We did indeed get that. Um, so just something to keep our eye on. I mean... Funding rate on Ethereum right now is, let's see, where's the hot one? Anyways, funding rates are high right now. Um, join the Discord, coin market cap. I want to check this one out. Uh, ELU. Lumia crowns, uh, just again, another little side note, $14 million market cap, very, very low market cap coin, um, has a lot of room to grow. What do they do? The legends of Illumia is leading the way in MMORPG players to gain full ownership of their assets in the game. So essentially, if you are a gamer and you want to hold on to your cool shields and swords and guns and all that stuff. Apparently, this is what they do. And then when the game shuts down or when the game upgrades, right, and they go from version one to version two, you don't lose all your stuff. Plus, you can sell your armors and your guns and all that stuff. It's a hot narrative. And um, yeah, just bringing it to our attentions there. We got Cockcoin. We got also this one, this one, Ribbon Finance, guys, Ribbon. Definitely want to check this one out. Um, just starting to break out, you know, back above this level, you're going to have a huge target up. Uh, Ribbon Finance is part of this AVO narrative. So what is AVO? It's a new DEX that High performance decentralized derivatives exchange focused on options. It runs on custom EVM rollups. AVO operates off chain order book with on chain settlements. This means that once orders are matched, trades get executed and settled with smart contracts. AVO also um, lists a bunch of coins that are like considered ICOs or IPOs, initial coin offerings. So very, very cool. Um, and I just found out today, AVO, because I wanted to buy some, it is Ribbon Finance. Um, so if you buy Ribbon and AVO, the exchange comes up with their own token. Eventually, it'll probably convert. Your Ribbons will get converted into AVOs or whatever, or whatever uh, they want to call it. All right, that's it out of me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, tell a friend, and... Um, Come see us again tomorrow. I appreciate you guys. Take care and God bless.